Organize A to Z. We are talking about custom design closets and spaces and so much more. There's also courses, there's products and so much more. That was like all rhyming. Tracy, <laughs> uh, founder and owner, welcome to the show today. Please introduce yourself before we begin. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Tracy Shadley. I am a god very experienced closet designer. I got my start with California Closets, the goat of yep. closet design. Mm -hmm. I worked for them for almost 20 years when I lived in Montreal. And I moved to Sedona. I decided to take a big step and change the weather and, and, yeah. moved to Sedona and started my own business. So I've been doing closet design here now for about 12 years. I think, yeah, it's my 12th anniversary this year in Sedona. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. What a beautiful place. Just curious, what made you move there? I mean, I went there one time and it was breathtaking. Can I just ask if you don't mind? No, not at all. I, I, to me, it's a great story. It's how most people get here. You don't find that many people who, you know, were born and raised here. Um, I came for a yoga retreat type thing for, you know, a find yourself yeah. type thing. <laughs> and I fell in love with it. And I just, I kept coming back and I stayed, I did my own yoga trainings and I stayed for three months at a time. And after about a year of coming back and forth, I was like, oh, I, that's where I want to live. Mm -hmm. It's one of those places that it just really brings you in. You love it or, or just don't get it, you know, <laughs> yeah. and I loved it. And they also say Sedona either embraces you or spits you out within about five years. And I've seen that happen. And it clearly wanted me to stay because I'm going on year number 12. Congratulations. Thank this you. is awesome. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Well, tell us a little bit about the company and what you do. And by the way, I know you're helping people all over with your virtual courses too. So it's yes. not just those you and Sedona. Uh, tell us a little bit more. So when I started, uh, when I Moved to Sedona because I'm Canadian. I mean, it's much more complicated than picking up and moving. <laughs> I had to apply for a visa and all of that. And most people were like, not going to happen. Even my lawyer was like, well, it's a teeny tiny small company. So I'm not so sure it's going to happen. Um, but I busted my butt. And when I did the business plan, I was doing professional organizing as well as closet design. I didn't think I'd be able to, you know, get a visa based on creating a closet design company with all the competition out there from the big, you know, the, the big um, franchises and everything. So I was doing both. And when I came here, I was doing both. And the closet design started to pick up through referrals. There are wonderful designers here that I started working in with that started referring me and contractors. So that start started to that part started to pick up and I started to do less and less and less of the professional organizing side. But when I was doing the professional organizing, I would always, you know, look at people's closets mm -hmm. and say, okay, yes, we have to purge all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. But you know, what would also really help is to redesign it. Yeah. And then I started, this got me into the third step of my business where I started thinking, well, why, if I can do that, why shouldn't other professional organizers not be able to design closets and add that to their yeah. to their toolbox and not have to pay the franchises to do it, not have to give away that income? So I sat down and created a course wow. <laughs> to teach people how to design closets based on my training from California Closets. So they're really getting the the real training, the real deal, not just some made up stuff. Cause I took everything that I learned yeah. and turned it into a course to be able to teach everybody else. Exciting. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. And now you, I can't believe it. What a, people telling you couldn't happen. Talk about like a, you know, really passionate story of achieving dreams and just going for it. Right. The, I think I can, I think I can until, Oh my gosh, I did it. What a leap of faith to take. Right. It, it really was. And I would tell anybody to do it. I would tell anybody to follow their dream. I mean, the worst thing that happens is, you know, it doesn't happen the first time and you try again. And I mean, it really, it's changed my life. I mean, I'm in a place where 
you know, I'm just, I hated the winters. I couldn't, I, I could barely function in the winter time. And here yeah. it's just, it's a dream come true. I don't, I work for myself. I do the same type of business. I do something I love. I'm teaching other people to do something I love. It's really, yeah, it's been wonderful. Oh, well, thank you for really being wonderful. here. Excited to have you. And what did you want to focus on today? I also want to bring up this children's book. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. How exciting. Yes. Well, it's actually my second book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first one um, I wrote about uh, closet organizing and design. Mm -hmm. And it's really almost like a children's book if you look <laughs> at it, because I didn't want to be, yeah. you know, I'm not a big believer in the Marie Kondos as you, you with, with all of everything's so complicated. Yeah. Like, it shouldn't be complicated. It's very easy. And that's how I wrote that first book. This is how you can do it to make your life easier. The second one is I actually have a friend who, a lifelong friend who is a children's writer and she started giving um, like a, a group on how to write a children's book. And I was, when I had, I had lunch with her and I was like, I could write a children's book about closet design and here you, you know uh -huh. you know and so I sat down and I did it it's based on my well it's called Coco's Closet wow my niece it's for my niece her name is Coco and I have watched her struggle through you know finding her clothes and everything and she's 12 but the little girl in this <laughs> book is even younger and she is always late covered in cat hair can't find her stuff oh, and sounds like, like yeah, it sounds like I have three kids. cats. Okay, I can relate. Uh huh. Yeah. And my kids and do that. She decides one day she wants an organized closet like her mom's, and they the parents help her do it with stuff in the Aww. house. Not like they went and bought a big, you know, uh, they bought it, didn't buy her a system. They actually redesign her closet with stuff in the house. So um, it's cute. It's not available yet. It's going to hopefully by the end of October, it'll be out. They're just starting to upload and oh everything. my gosh and where can we find it and it'll be on amazon okay yeah it'll be on amazon uh hopefully by the end of october exciting stuff all right thank you so much for sharing that yay and where can Great. we find the other book too the other book is also on amazon that one's called okay. a mirror in your closet tips and tricks from the inside Awesome. Now, yeah. I know you also want to talk a little bit today, something, you know, that benefits everyone, which clearly you could do and uh, people out there, where did you want to start? Oh, <laughs> I don't, well, you know, I have so many things going on, depending on whether you want to do, um, like redesign your own closet. Uh, you don't have to be here in Sedona to work with me. Okay. Um, I have something called, um, virtual closet design where I'll send you some forms, you give me your space, you give me your needs, and I will do plans for you. And then there are numerous ways that you can get those plans done, whether it be through a contractor that you know, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you can you know go to Home Depot and build the parts. There are even some places online that you can order all the pieces and just have it installed. So I don't know if people know that all of this is available when it comes to closet design. You don't have to go the big route of the big fancy closets unless that's what you're looking for. And you're looking for the, all of the, you know, the bells and whistles and, but for basic organization, it can be done very, very simply and not on a huge budget. So I have that available to everybody if they want to work with me as far as just getting the expert design yeah. and installing it themselves. Then, like I said, I can teach people to become a closet designer um, mm -hmm. through that course. Like it's the five part magic formula to designing a perfect closet. So five steps. It's interactive. It's it's well, I should say, first of all, it's evergreen. Oh, so okay. there's no rush. You don't have to do it in a certain amount of time. Nobody's pushing you. Um, and throughout that class, you can talk to me through either either regular email or even right through the class, um, through the, the platform. And um, it takes you step by step. It's got videos, it's got cheat sheets, it's got downloads, it's got homework. Like it's a very, very precise, concise Ooh. way of learning. Um, and it's how I did it. I, when I was at California closets for the last, I think the last eight years that I was there, I was actually training other designers and that's basically how I was training new designers. So 
it's the real deal when it comes oh my to gosh. training. Yeah. I love it. And it's affordable and we, it's for all of us. I love hearing that. Yeah. And that you can find on my website. There's two versions. There's a, you know, sort of a classic version and there's a VIP version with added bonuses, added coaching calls, a sales, um, a little sales kind of tutorial, more videos. So you can kind of go which either way you want, depending on how deep you want to dive in. Ooh. Well, to remind everyone at this time, all the ways we can reach out to you, the website, phone number, any social media pages would be helpful. Website is organize a to z.com, a t o z dot com. Um, both uh, Facebook and Instagram are organize a organize a z on Facebook, organize a to z on Instagram. I didn't change, I didn't do that. I got it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I would have done it the same, but <laughs> um, and my phone number is 928 399 9369. I am happy to answer any questions. And my website, I said my website already, didn't I? Oh, or good. Yeah. Don't worry. Do it again. Exactly. More again. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And I love all the packages you design and uh, you could help. I mean, I'm just looking and I hope everyone does the same goes on the website. Seeing is believing. I love how like uh, you might be, it's new to me, probably not to you, but my closet's so disorganized, but like the pull out drawers and all looks like you have like pull out hampers in there. And oh um, yeah. Oh yeah. I, you want what you won't see on my website is all the gadgets. I am not a believer in the gadgets. I'm not a believer in the spinning <laughs> shoe racks. I'm not a believer in, um, they've got rotating, sh like I, all those gadgets, they're great. I should say they're fine. Mm -hmm. They're expensive. And they don't necessarily, you know, gain you space or benefit in any way. They're gadgets. Yeah. Pull out pant racks. You know, the pull-out pant racks, like, yeah, they're cool, but you actually only get, you get fewer hangers than you could actually fit in the space. So I'm all about optimizing your space, making it as functional as possible for you and making it look pretty. Not about spending all your money and, you know, adding all these things that are unnecessary. Got so it. you'll see simple, clean closets, I can do everything else if somebody yeah, really wants, wants that. it, but I'm, that's, you know, that's not what I push on people. And, and by the way, it's not just closets. It's like offices, uh, media centers. There's, there's a lot that encompasses Your media yeah. centers, garages, garages are huge. Garages, yes. um, I do more garages here than I did in Montreal because in Montreal, obviously you need room to park a car. You know, you yeah, have true, <laughs> true. that's what they're for. Here, um, a lot of people, they don't necessarily park their car or they have humongous garages. And so that's very, been very popular. Laundry rooms, um, media centers, pantries are wow. very big also because uh, that's a huge, I mean, when you think about where you can gain space in a pantry, you know, we normally have pantries that are shelves are 14 inches apart. They don't move. You can't put anything in them. So to have adjustable shelving and different size sections, and it really makes a difference. Did I tell you, I don't know if I told you this story, but I moved into the home that I'm in now seven, seven years ago, um, out on Long Island in New York and my first time buying a home and I moved into a house and my mom was dying of cancer. I had a best friend who was a homeowner for like 20 something years. She's the one who helped me walk around and like, look at things. And nobody pointed out, you ready? That I bought the house without closets. Like what? Wait, what? Like there was closets, but there was no racks to hang anything. Even like the pantry, there was no shelves. It was all barren and every closet in the house was gutted with not even a bar. I was like, oh, what? Wow. But that's something I wasn't even thinking about looking at. Like I didn't even think. It, yeah. So yeah, I had to do like the Home Depot cheap closet quick and all that stuff, but it, it works for now. But one day I need to organize. I, my closet's like horrible. One day. <laughs> yeah. And there, you know, you say uh, Home Depot cheap closets, they have a variation as well, you know, a lower, a lower rung and a higher rung. I think they, I think they might sell Martha Stewart, um, which is a little bit higher. You know, you could get the wire racking and you can get the laminate and you can get a little bit more custom everywhere. You could do that. The container store is huge in the States. Um, and the container store, when I went in there, 
and looked at it. And I don't get me wrong. I love the store, love the store. But mm -hmm. when I looked at the prices of their closets, yeah. I nearly fell over. I was like, I could do this for a fraction of the price. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the professional organizers that I see online, that's what they're doing. They're taking it to a um, container store specifically because they have so many options. They're spending way too much money and they're not making any of that money. They could be doing it themselves and making all that money themselves. So it's a great way to, you know, add another income stream for people. Yeah. Or even mm -hmm. start doing it for your friends and family. It's not, it's not a hard thing to learn. Um, and it's a it's a growing business. It's a constantly growing business. Got it. All right. Well, thank you again for being here. Just want to remind everyone how we can reach you uh, as we continue to speak. Please log on to Tracy's site, uh, organizea2z.com. And if you Google her name, uh, Tracy with an E, T-R-A-C-E, uh, Shadley, S-H-A-D-L-E-Y. And she's here helping us again with all of her, over 30 plus years in uh, experience with the closet design. It's exciting that you're here and took the risk and did all this to get here. And you're, um, you know, you're helping people with their closets and online training courses. Do you want to dive into a little bit more about these training courses specifically? Well, the training courses, again, you know, is if you're thinking of becoming a closet yeah. designer, yes, whether or not as a, as a hobby, because I know people do it as a hobby. They help family and friends and they just mm -hmm. like design or whether you want to add it to your, um, your toolkit, being a professional designer, or even, you know, the contractors, they don't know how, and no disrespect, they're not trained in this, but when a contractor, you know, gives you a brand new house, for example, mm -hmm. they throw in one bar, they throw in two bars and they throw in shelves at the end of it. Well, that's not a well-designed closet. They're providing yeah. you with something contractor grade. But I always, I have so many people who they take the credit for that. They put it towards new closets and they start off boom with brand new space that they can move into and they don't have to repaint and all of that stuff once, once they moved in. Like, you know, had you done it, boom, you wouldn't have had to do the cheap way. Exactly. And then pull it out. And do, yeah. So um, it, that it teaches people to do that. And there's, there's it's a growing industry. I mean, it's just, I have people who've just done it for hobby and I've had people who have done it to add to their tool belt. And you'll see testimonials um, on my website, on the landing page for the course that it, it's helped them and how much fun they had doing it. It's fun. It's a fun, that's what I say. It's a fun, fun job that I have yeah, to go see. in people's homes. I mean, every once in a while, you're a little shocked by stuff that you will find. Like what? Like what? Tell us, tell us. Um, well, you, I, the, the most shocking thing I think I found it's, was once, and this wasn't here, this was in Montreal. I walked in the woman's closet and she literally had a bag of cash on the floor. Like, like oh you would gosh. find in a heist movie. And I was like, like, hi. Okay. You know, <laughs> that's, and people don't care obviously, or they would hide their stuff. They don't. So I'm very respectful of, may I open this drawer? Cause you don't know what's behind, you know, in people's drawers or um, I'm trying to think what else I've found. You know, I found women's clothes and men's closets and uh -huh. that type of thing. But I mean, they're inviting you in. So they know what's in there. They're obviously not, not that that's anything to be ashamed of, but, but, the, no. the, but mm -hmm. it's not something you expect when you go in to, you know, to work in a closet. Um, what else have I seen in there? Um, I'm trying to think. It's it's think, think <laughs> life is getting more conservative as we go on, so, or people are hiding stuff better. But I've learned my lesson not to open things without asking the question first. The may eyes. Mm -hmm. I like that. We should do it. it's like a whole show on what's in the closet. <laughs> it, it's also a little bit of therapy because people. Um, normally you're working with the wife, but they're sharing the closet. So I would always suggest that you work with both people because there's dynamics that go on. If people are sharing the closet, like who's in it, when are you going to be bumping into each other? Who has more, who needs more space? The woman will always say me, but it's not necessarily true. 
I've gone into closets where the men have much more stuff than the women. And you, you have to design for that. And you have to ask the right questions to be able to get, you know, really what people want. Because if you just design a generic closet for somebody, they're not going to get excited about it. It's really, this is you, this is for your stuff. This is where your shoes are going to go. You hang your bags on, you know, on a hook instead of putting them on the shelf. So this is how we're going to do it for you. So really learning how to personalize it and ask the right questions is what is going to make you make a sale. Cause it is also a sales job. It's a design job, but it is a sales job. They have to buy what you're designing or, you know, there's no, there's no revenue for you. You're just doing work for nothing. So um, I teach all of that stuff. I know I just I just went off on a big tangent, but <laughs> but that's all part of it. We can, it's all we part can. of what you learn. Oh my goodness, I could only imagine. But so now let me, what is a typical day like for you, right? Just curious uh, with, with your work schedule and all. What, what do you mostly, you know, how does it work? You're waking up at what time in beautiful Sedona, by the way? Ugh. Oh, usually around seven, I would think I okay. wake up. Um, it depends how many clients I'm seeing in a day. I always like to work out if I can at some point. Um, I usually go and spend an hour or more with a client, depending on how much detail, how much time they want to give you. When I started doing this 30 years ago, remember, I was doing it on paper, which I do teach you. So you don't have to go out and buy a computer program and all of mm -hmm. that. You can do all of this by hand. Um, I loved doing it by hand. I found the drawing very, very therapeutic and relaxing, but you were with a client for like two to three hours because you'd measure, you'd go over the space, you would design right in front of them because you're not having a computer and taking it home and coming back. That's what we're used to now. And we have to adapt. Um, but I teach both ways so that you can do all of this in front of the client, which adds much more value than if you don't. Yep. Um, so depending on how much time the client and how how deep they want to get into to it with me, I usually spend, you know, one to two hours with the client um, and then I'll go and do the plans or do go do pricing or whatever they don't let me do with them. I go home and finish the project. So it's clear in my head. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then I, you know, you know do whatever everything else does. <laughs> but yeah, it depends on how many people I see a day. Awesome. Yeah. Good to know. Well, um, for those of you uh, new timers tuning in, don't forget to check out the website. And uh, she's also Tracy Shadley. Uh, she's here to help you train to learn for yourself. Again, organize A to Z, not just closets, uh, providing so many services, online training uh, programs for so many people. Let me ask, what do you love most about your job? What do you love about the organization process? Is it something you've always, you know, done and like grew up like wanting to organize tell me a little bit about that <laughs> well I've just always been organized I wouldn't say that I'm OCD but I to me everything has a place mm -hmm. um that makes sense now again it makes sense for me that doesn't mean it makes sense for somebody yeah. else so in any type of organizing um whether it's professional organizing or doing a closet what you're doing has to make sense to the person using it. Oh. Um, so I've always been like that. I like my stuff a certain way. And I just happen to mm -hmm. find a business that allows me to do that uh, for other people. So it's it's really satisfying. And I love meeting new people. You know, you get to really sit and talk to people. And you are going into one of their most private parts of their home. Um, so you tend to, you know, you have to make them relax and they have to be comfortable with you. So you also bond with your client um, more than you would in a lot of other jobs. Like, you know, if you were a painter or um, a, a floor, somebody doing flooring, like this part of the home process, the home renovation process is much more personal. So I enjoy that too. Good. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure having you here. And Tracy, to leave off today, if someone's interested in working with you, talking to you, can we just reach out for just a, a discovery call? How does that part work? 
Absolutely. The best, you can either just go to the contact us through my website, or you can email me Tracy at organize a to Z.com. It's T R A C E Y at organize a to Z.com. Um, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Got Absolutely. It. Well, thank you so much. Always a pleasure having you here and we'll connect next week. And don't forget the children's book. Hold on. Tell us again. When can we expect oh, this coming yes. up soon? Coco's Closet. Coco's Closet. Hopefully it will be out by uh, the end of October. Fingers crossed. But it should definitely be out this year. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Awesome. Thanks again. Have a fantastic day. And thank all of our listeners too. and viewers, stay tuned. And looking forward to next time. Do we have a Zoom again next time? I am not sure. I don't know. I oh. have to take a look. <laughs> no, because I would love like if you could pull up your screen and share it and we could see some of the work that you've done and the courses or the, you know, the projects to work on just to get a, a an overview for us visually would be great. Okay, cool. Thank All you. Right. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great day, Tracy, with an Thank you too. The way it Bye. should be. Bye. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.